Blacksmith, one of our newer sports. Um, I mean, it's really, I mean, it was invented in 1968. So it's exciting to me in that it's a new sport. It's still emerging um, on a cultural level. It's still emerging on a technical level. And for me as a young coach, as someone who hasn't, you know, studied this for 30 years, I love that I get a chance to work with uh, a group of men that let us adapt with the sport and really learn alongside each other. I love that. It's something that lends itself to athleticism, to different sizes and speeds. Uh, there really is an opportunity for uh, a lot of athletes to come out and participate. I look at the background of some of our current Kai players and you know we've got basketball, we've got football, we've got soccer, we've got wrestling, uh, we've even got you know Jason McKean holding up the trombone section. So that's great. I'm glad we can we can, we can do all of that. But um, as a sport, as a team, as a program, it's something that I really enjoy and uh, I love where we're at in the history of the sport. How did I get introduced into Ultimate? Uh, I wish it was some big aha moment. You know, I like many players, my dad and I would throw in the driveway growing up, so I knew what it was. And, and then in track, you know, every other Tuesday, we'd get to go and play and, you know, there were no marks and it was 40 on 25 and you just ran around and it was great. Uh, but I remember my freshman year, I showed up to intramurals, it was an all freshman team and we, were th we thought, you know, we were fast and we could jump and we run around so we thought we were just going to steamroll everyone and we did and then we found out we were in the lower division. They moved us up all the way up to the upper division and we showed up to our first game and we went down like 8-0 or something and it was, it was something else. It was just exciting and, you know, maybe not exciting at the time, it was just like mind blowing to go out there and just get worked by a bunch of these you know, out of shape grad students, and it was so humiliating. Uh, but one of them afterwards was like, hey, you guys are really good, you should come out, you know, we have a little club team, and we, you know, we practice, we play a couple times a week, and we even go to a couple tournaments a year. And so I was introduced at the time to Occlusion, which was our men's team, which was, again, a bunch of out of shape grad students who went and played, and I, you know, that was in September, October, whenever, and by January, I was coming out to practices regularly, and I once I once I started that there was no going back. Um, I found myself struggling to maintain GPAs, uh, but I was getting a lot of touches in, you know, and getting my uh, 20 hours in a week of ultimate, and I really haven't looked back since. Give me one more chance Won't you please tell me I feel like I have a, a personal concert going on <laughs> yeah, I always get